I'm not back all done. You having cheese? What? Yeah. yeah, it's your water. Mmm, so tasty. <coughs> well, that was a lot of water. High five. Boom. Hey guys, so welcome back to the Knitting Expat Podcast channel. My name is Mina and I'll be your host today. I'm here joined by my daughter Layla. She's 21 months old, so um so yeah, podcasting with my daughter. Although not really podcasting, this is a review video. This is a knit crate review. Yeah. Panda joining us? Okay. Um, she currently has a plate of snacks here, so hopefully that will keep her somewhat occupied. Oh, okay. Mommy will move it. Give it to mommy. Can I sit here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Now that we have panda situated, we can get started. So I have two knit crate boxes here to oh. share with you guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, knit crates shipping went a little bit funny this month. They were, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna look at it. One second, honey. Um, it went a little bit funny this month and the shipping was delayed a little bit. So I only got mine literally yesterday, I think it was, they arrived. So um, really right at the end of the month. So this is actually November's knit crate. Now normally, and I've already opened these to take a quick peek because I couldn't resist, but normally they send me a knit crate membership and then a sock artisan crate. This month they've actually sent me two of the knit crate memberships so um, I'm not actually all that upset about that because they are beautiful and one I will be keeping and the other I will be giving away. So, should we open this one? Uh, yeah, should we open it? Should we see what's inside? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay, let's actually start with this one. because This is the one that I'm keeping, so if she gets any sort of juices on them, I'm not too worried. Yeah. Can you open it? Oh. Mm. Can you take the yarn out? Oh. Yeah, you can show it to the camera. Can you show it to the camera? Oh, wow. Can you show it up nice and tall, nice and high? Can you hold it up high? Yeah, well done, show it to everybody. So the yarn they've sent is, um, it's their own base yarn. Thank you, Layla. It is Uru yarn on the, okay, here, there go. On the Uru sugared worsted. So 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 10% stellina. It's a worsted, ba a worsted weight. Mm, it's cheese, honey. Uh, 219 yards or 200 meters in 100 grams um, and is this colorway is called wolves w-o-l-v-e-s wolves as in the animal oh yeah thank you you're showing it to the camera so well honey um, and it's this beautiful deep navy with and you can probably see it on camera I can see it on the screen here it's just so sh glittery and shimmery with the Selena in there um, yeah it's it really sparkles and it's perfect for this time of year so can i have the booklet please thank you uh so their inspiration so it came with the booklet and the inspiration for this month was glitz and glam so all that glitters is golden when it comes to this month's membership crates membership crates both of which are loaded with sparkling stellina and yeah so they give you their sort of like mood board and their inspiration images get that focus on that there we go. um so these are the four colors four colors that i could have been sent so i was sent this one honey oh here okay do you want to put it back in the box oh thank you good job yeah okay good job so those are the four colours that we could have, I could have been sent. And so you've got, um, I'm trying to get the names right. So you've got wolves, roses, and then it says in the order that it says it should be, this should be gilded and this should be twilight. And I actually think they're the other way around. It would make more sense that this is gilded and this is twilight. But um, according to the pamphlet, it's that way. Yeah, more cheese. So the first pattern is um, a crochet pattern. It's a shawl pattern called Fruit Ridge. That's the photo, I'm not sure how well you can see it. There we go. Mm. 
focus in on me. And then there's some information about the designer. And oh, here we go. There's another sort of pattern page, photo page. So this is the showing the shawl part of it. Sorry about the glare. I've had to put the overhead lights on. And this is the knit pattern. So there's actually three this time. It's a hat, a cowl, and um, fingerless gloves. Um, as of actually what is the wolf's colorway, which is the colorway that I've got. So it's the twinkle knits, um, the twinkle cowl, and then as the name would suggest, the twinkle hat. And then there's also a sock pattern, but the sock pattern isn't included in this one. You just get a photo of it. Right, well, she just tipped her plate of fruit all over the place. So we just have to stop and clean that up. Thankfully, most of it was salvageable. Salvage yeah, uh, just falling on the uh, chair around her. So the other crate, like I said, it's the exact same yarn, same base, but this time they sent me the roses colorway. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, roses. Um, and you can see how shiny and sparkly that is. Although I will say, let me just check your hands. Okay, let me check your hands are clean, honey, before you hold it. Okay. Yeah. Can you show the camera? Yeah. What do you think? Although I will say this one, at least this skein anyway, out of the two, it's um, a lot more pink than it shows in the photos in the booklet. The booklet. This colorway looks a lot more like a true purple and it's definitely reads more pink in real life. I think this one, can I swap with you? Yeah. yeah. This skein is much more evenly dyed in terms of it looks purple, but that one definitely looks more pink. So if you were going to use these skeins together in the project, you would definitely have to alternate them. So yeah, if you were going to use these two, thank you. If you were going to use these two skeins in a project, you would definitely have to alternate skeins because this one is a lot lighter in a certain section than that one. And you get the same pattern booklet with this box as well, because it's the same. Thank you. Thank you. And put it away. So yeah, you can see in the box and put them next to each other. Mama! There we go. So yeah, you can see this top one here is definitely lighter than this bottom one. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're beautiful yarns. They're really soft. So, I think actually the navy, the one that I wanted to keep, I wanted to keep that one because I had it in mind to pair it with some hand spun or something for a project. So with Knit Crate, you have several membership options. And so they have, so the ones that I've been, the one that I was sent was their membership crate. So that's just the yarn and patterns. There is a, another version of the membership crate where you also get a little something extra as well. So there are, there's a variety of different uh, crate options you can pick and the prices all differ depending on uh, what is included in each box. So I will leave a link down to the Knit Crate website where you can go and check it out and see which one suits you if you want to sign up for any. Um, and there's a few links below this video on YouTube. One of them is an affiliate link, which is the one that goes to the Knit Crate website. So you can, if you select one, and if you do purchase something through that link, then I get a small amount of money. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Um, and by all means, you don't have to use it. You could just go to the Knit Crate website on your own. You don't have to use that link. Um, but it's there if you'd like to use it. Yeah. More, More what? More. More what? More. But you've still got lots of grapes. More. Ah! There's a blueberry. Mm. There's another one. Yeah. You finished? No. No, you haven't finished, have you? No. You've still got all these grapes. You can cool. eat. You can eat them. Cool. They're cold. Yeah, they were in the fridge. Oh, cute. Uh huh. Oh, cute. Okay, I think that pretty much sums it up for today. <laughs> I don't think there's much else to say other than I will be hosting a giveaway for those pink skeins or the pub, the roses colorway. Um, at some point soon, I think. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Is it funny? <laughs> so, uh... oh, lovely. Yes, so I think that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, so 
so I will see you guys again soon. I'm not sure when the December boxes are going to be shipping, but they should be soon-ish, I think. Alright, I better get going, because she's starting to um, lose patience, it seems. And I will be back with Vlogmas. Alright, take care. Bye. Bye. Yeah, high five.